All right, all right. Well, shalom, brothers and sisters, like yeah. Elder mentioned. Welcome to the Hebrew and Bible Academy. This is uh, week one of the yeah. installment, being Sunday, <laughs> the 31st of October, so-called All Saints Day. And when the sun goes down, it's Hallow's Eve, Halloween. Man, hold your kids. Hide your kids, <laughs> hide your wife. Ironically enough, speaking of... Uh, Halloween and, you know, demons being let loose. First article. All right. Interesting times. Let me make sure I got the link to share with you all. This is SputnikNews.com. SputnikNews.com. All right. There you go. Yes, we are cooking with grease. Here's the title. Judge jails a teenager. This is in the UK. Judge jails a teenager who murdered sisters after making bizarre contract with a demon. They are in regular news outlets publicizing that the satanic worships of individuals and in exchange for supposedly winning the, a lottery for money, there was a contract to kill six women every six months with their sixes in exchange for winning the lottery. This is part of public record now. It's in mainstream media and it's part of the court hearings, proceedings, and judgments. Last piece on this real quick, Alder, it says earlier, Judge Whipple, presiding over the case, said uh, this boy, his name's Hussein, the contract with a demon, quote, Bizarre though that may be as a belief system, it is not in itself proof he is mad. Now, take a moment to consider that, brothers and sisters. We try to show you with their own words, not um, the alphabet people, lesbians, gays, transgender, blah, blah, blah. Not them. Lawmakers, judges, uh, people over school boards psychologists, educators, uh, professors in universities, these high priests, these individuals say things like this, making a contract with a demon is, quote, in, it, it is not itself proof he is mad. <laughs> now, I'm glad you brought that out, Shapak, because How many times have uh, Elder Lawyer and I discussed and we put out there about the Albert Pike plan to bring Lucifer to the forefront after, the they have yep. after they have destroyed the earth under morals and dogma, they'll be able to bring Lucifer out as the God to be accepted, the God to be accepted uh, for the new world order. And keep in mind, brothers and sisters, he was always the God of this world. They just bringing them down, bringing bringing them out behind the curtains now. So, right, all right, they saying when if someone kills kills in the name of Satan through contracts, that it's not that a person is insane. That what the reality is, these things has always happened. That these are same people who are willing to do anything to gain some level of power, notoriety, and money in this world. And they're willing to kill for it. And Satan knows this. Look at the story between Cain and Abel. Mm. See? That was the first murder. That was the first murder, folks. A lion murderer to gain what? Power, notoriety, favor. Cain and Abel. So here it is. This is what it is. Are you willing to kill your own brother? If so, huh? Take this, take that. Mm. So these serial killers aren't aren't what? Lone nuts like they try to claim. Jack the Ripper, Jeffrey Dahmer, these are all occult ritualistic killings that are hid in the news. For years have been hid in the news. And they know these are ritualistic killings. Right. See? And now it's coming right out. Even growing up down south, there was a thing. 
there was a thing where it talks about you walking to the devil's past to make a deal. Crossroads. The crossroads. <laughs> That down south, you have to go to the crossroads at a certain time in the woods to make a deal. Musicians used to do this. They would go with their guitars or whatever, and they go to the crossroads at a certain time. And a rabbi would tell them, listen, you go there and you can make your deal. And next thing you know, you got Chuck Berry. You got all these different rock and rollers who made it, who made deals at the crossroads. Folks. I'm going to tell you, folks, fiction, truth, truth is stranger than fiction. They mm. use the news and all that to keep us in an alternate reality, which is how we think so that we don't realize that this Babylonian pool is a pool of people Satan can utilize for what? Ritualistic occult practices. Anytime they want to get a young girl for sacrifice, a seven-year-old little girl or a blind girl, whatever Satan requests, they'll find within what? These cities that were constructed to pull out sacrifices for the gods. Hey, we're going to be going into that in the academy, folks, but it's real. Now, the people are coming. Uh, uh, the Menendez brothers, when they said that they just came downstairs and started hacking up their parents. Folks, all of these, they're coming out telling you now. They're not even hiding it anymore. But go ahead, Chapat. They're not even hiding it anymore. Uh, um, um, uh, Jim Jones. Everyone knew Jim Jones was sent out from the Catholic Church. His first sermon was from a Catholic Church steps over there in Guyana. Mm. That was a Catholic Church that let him do his first sermon, luring black people over to drink the Kool-Aid. All these are ritualistic killings, and now it's coming out right out that no, these people aren't insane. They're making deals. The Bible. Is it hard to understand? When it comes to reading the Bible, the first thing that comes to mind is the fact that this is the Word of God. The seals have been broken, and the truth is here. And when we go throughout the scriptures, when we go throughout extra biblical records, we find that the language that God employed, that he used to create the heavens and the earth, was the Hebrew language. Christ said, I came for the lost sheep of the house of Israel. But yet no one, no religious leader, no religious church out there anywhere can now identify the 12 tribes of Israel. Can we? God is quite simple, but it seems as if man makes understanding him hard. What are those mysteries? The truth of your book. And the truth will make you free. The Hebrew and Bible Academy, you're invited.